Hey, welcome to Round Recap. This is a quick video looking at every single shot of the round that we're going to feature in the latest episode of Par for the Course, the podcast where we look at some of the mistakes I'm making, how I'm going to get better, and ultimately become a scratch golfer and break par, which I've never done in my life. And starting off on the first hole, not a brilliant start. A tugged second shot there, which leaves me a chip to get up and down, but that was a really, really good chip. And it's good to start with a par, good up and down there. But again, we've got this problem with going left off the tee. And you'll see there's a bit of a theme with the driving in this round. We're chipping out of the trees. Although it's a par five, so I'm able to advance it on that second shot to give me a good wedge shot in on the third shot. I felt like it was a good opportunity, but I think I was distracted by a guy talking behind me on the other hole, and I just left it way short. So I had to kind of gouge that out of the quite a thick rough there, and now leave me a chance to get up and down for the second hole in a row. That was a good putt, five footer, always a knee knocker. I'm not brilliant at putting, but that was a good uh, nerve settler to go uh, two up and downs there on the first two holes. Not ideal. And especially now we've missed the green again, so we're going to have to do it for a third time, get up and down if I want to stay level par. And this time the putt slides by, so the luck didn't last forever. I've got to start hitting some greens with these approach shots. Now, this drive came pretty high off the face. It didn't go as far as I wanted, but it gave me still a good look at getting to the green. But once again, fourth time in a row, missed the green on the approach shot. That was a 9-9, just leaked right. And so these chips, I'm trying to get as close as I can. But that time again, another sort of eight foot putt goes begging and we're two over. But hopefully with drives like that, the round will start to improve. This is the hardest hole on the course, but when you drive like that, every hole is pretty easy, which left me with this wedge shot into the green with the pin right at the back. And I leave it a little bit short, but it gives me a good opportunity to put up the hill. And I'm pretty interested in that as it got close, but to come away with a par on the hardest hole of the course is always a good result. Now on the sixth hole, there's a big lake in front of the green, so you can't go with the driver. So it's always a layup for me with an iron and then a wedge shot in. I was feeling good about it. It was only 110 yards out, but then I yank it left again. So that seems to be the recurring issue so far. And a good putt there to get pretty close to the hole for birdie leaves me with a tap in par. And so we walk away with consecutive pars there on the last two holes. This I felt so good about in the air, 120 yards, 50 degree wedge, just hits the lip of the bunker and rolls back in. And you can see how angry I was there. Really not happy, but again, a chance for up and down, this time out of the sand and the putt just goes begging again. That's another bogey. I'm definitely not swinging it as well as I could be, but moving on to the eighth hole, you wanna cut this off those trees on the right but unfortunately it's just gone the wrong way. It was a decent start line. It literally just went the wrong way and it's gone all the way through the trees, which leaves me this weird shot. You either go under or you go over like I did. Managed to just get it over, but still left with quite an awkward chip, trying to get up and down. And that was one of the best shots of the day that I could get in with a tap in par. Moving on to the ninth hole, another par five. And once again off the tee, just tugged it left. Although this got so lucky, it kicked off a tree into the ground on a repair. So I could place the ball and then kind of access the green, almost get there with my second shot, although it just leaked right a bit with my five iron. Left me this good chip on and then a putt for birdie, which was a good roll to be honest. It looked good for a lot of that and then just broke at the end. Onto the back nine with three over. That's not a bad front nine, to be honest. Um, the ground was pretty baked during this round. One of the first ones of the summer, it hadn't rained in a long time. And again, off the tee on this par three, 185 yards up the hill, but it went way left. And so I'm in for another bogey after I couldn't get up and down. And this was the first really awful shot of the day. That dribbled about hundred yards on the floor, which left me trying to draw this round to the left as a dog leg, but it didn't quite get there. And so I'm in the trees again, trying to get up and down but goes over the back of the green once more, chipping on, trying to get as close as I can. This was to save bogey, and that was a double bogey, so plus six. Now this is a big doglet right again, par five, which is a good opportunity, but it just didn't fade the shot. So again, I'm in the trees trying to advance it down the fairway. I forgot to press record on this one, but it was a good approach shot, 135 yards with a pitching wedge. That was one of the first ones which I've actually hit the green on the approach from that kind of distance. And then a nice two putt for par. So after not being on the fairway on that par five, I scrambled to make par, which was good. And this was not a bad one, just off the left-hand side of the fairway in the rough, but another good distance to get in. I'm finding that the distances are a little bit easier now because it's summer and the ball's rolling again. But that was a good par, pretty regulation. 
This to me is the hardest hole on the course, even though it's not officially, it's always been very long, but I've got an opportunity. You can hear the music in the background as well, just playing the tunes, but it gave me a good opportunity. And this was a long putt. You can see how I start. I'm not walking it in. I was just trying to get to the ball quicker, but oh my gosh, I've drained one. Putting has never been the strong point in my game ever, but that felt really, really good. First birdie of the day. I'm not a big birdie guy. Um, I'm usually more solid than getting loads of birdies. But speaking of not being solid, that one you can see I was aiming so far the wrong way from where it went. That kind of confused me. But it's the problem with tugging it left. And again, a chance to get up and down, don't make it. So I'm in for another bogey. That seems to be a lot of what's happening today. This time I went for a four iron, just trying to squeeze it down the fairway. It came off pretty high on the face not a great strike but it still left me a decent wedge shot in i was not happy as soon as i hit that look i was it because it tugged left again but it did manage to get pin high on the left side of the green and it was a good roll so putting has kind of saved me on this um my short game really has saved me from being pretty bad trying to hit the fairway off the tee but also trying to hit the green and on this the par 5 17th i go right into the trees with a four iron just trying to get it in the middle of the fairway managed to chop it out the trees down the fairway which gives me a decent look with a pitching wedge and that was probably the best shot of the day six foot just lipped out for birdie there so that would have been the second birdie of the day not quite moving on to the last hole the 18th i always try and go with a driver it just it seems the percentage play because i'm not going to miss enough to go in the water i've really tried to avoid the water on the right there and, and hit it left but I leave myself this little chip over the bunker, which rolls out a little bit too far. And on the other side, I thin it, it goes over the other side of the green. Now I'm left with a putt back. So this is not a good finish to the round at all. Tapping in for bogey. And we finish with seven over par. Check out the full episode of the podcast, Par for the Course on Spotify and YouTube. And I'll see you for the next round recap.